Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Ambaruchi and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this amazing Godzilla cake that I made for my son's birthday. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. To get started I have two 8 inch chocolate cakes which I've baked and leveled and I added one of my cakes onto an 8 inch cake board and now I'm going to fill this with my whipped Nutella ganache. If you want my whipped Nutella ganache recipe, click the I up above. Then I add the other cake layer on top and I give the cake a crumb coat with more of that whipped Nutella ganache. And I let this set in the freezer for a few minutes until the Nutella ganache is nice and firm. Once the Nutella ganache is firm, I'm going to cover this cake with some vanilla buttercream. And then I let this set in the refrigerator once again. Now moving on to the next cake tier, I have two vanilla cakes which I've leveled and cut in half so that I have four separate cake layers and these are 6 inch vanilla cakes. So I have a 6 inch cake board here that has a little hole in the center which is going to help us stick a dowel support through the center to keep both cakes together. And I add this cake onto the cake board. I cover this layer in some vanilla buttercream, then I add a nice ring of vanilla buttercream around the cake, and I fill this with some homemade raspberry jam. And I keep repeating this until I reach the last cake layer. Once my cake is stacked, I let this set in the freezer for a few minutes so it can firm up and then I give it a crumb coat with vanilla buttercream and I let it set in the freezer for a few more minutes until that crumb coat is nice and firm. Once the crumb coat is set, I go ahead and give this another coat of vanilla buttercream. Now I'm not covering this cake in fondant, I'm only doing a few fondant decorations. I am covering this in a buttercream. So what I have here is a nice firm buttercream that I've just dyed red. So for the 6 inch cake, which is the smaller top cake layer, I'm covering the entire cake in some red vanilla buttercream. For the bottom cake layer, which is the 8 inch cake, I'm going to do the top half of this cake red, so I'm just adding dabs of red buttercream around the top and then I'm going to smooth that out using my offset spatula. And then I cover the bottom half of this cake in orange buttercream. So I'm just dabbing orange buttercream around the bottom half and again spreading this with my offset spatula. I don't want this to look like two divided colors. I want to smooth them together so that they blend. So I'm just going to keep alternating the colors and smoothing it until I'm happy with the way that it's blended. Now I'm going to add my cake supports onto the bottom layer. So what I have here is some bubble tea straws and I'm just going to cut these to size. So then I add one straw in the middle and I trim that. And I'm going to make sure that this straw fits perfectly through the cake board that the top cake layer has. Now I want these colors to blend a little more and have more of a golden tone. So what I have here is some golden color mist spray and I'm going to spray the entire bottom layer lightly and half of the top layer so that it blends in a little more seamlessly. Now for the fondant decorations what I did was some skyline buildings and all I did was just printed a skyline picture onto some white sugar sheets and then I cut out that building shape. 
and now I'm adding the sugar sheets onto some fondant. And I'm going to cut out the shapes using my X-Acto knife. After my fondant skyline shapes have been all cut out, I'm going to add these onto the cake. And I'm going to place these on the bottom cake tier first. And I'm just leaving a little gap in between each building set so that we can place different types of Godzillas in between each set of buildings. Using the Wilton piping tip number 46, I'm just going to create a nice little ruffle pattern around the bottom and top borders of the cake just to fill in any spaces. Now here I have some black sugar sheets and what I did was I just made myself a stencil of different Godzilla silhouettes and I traced them onto the sugar sheets and using my scissors I'm just cutting these silhouettes out. And I just start placing my different Godzilla sugar sheet cutouts throughout the cake. I have the regular Godzilla, Earth Godzilla, and Shin Godzilla, which happens to be my son's favorite Godzilla. I also made some small helicopter cutouts, and it looks super cool because it looks like Godzilla is going after the helicopters. And here I have some yellow fondant and what I did was I just made myself a stencil of the Godzilla letter logo and I am just using the stencils and placing them onto the yellow fondant and using my X-Acto knife to cut out the letter shapes. And I'm adding the Godzilla letter logo in the front center part of the top tier cake. And now in the center bottom part of the cake, I left a nice big gap and I'm adding a bigger Shin Godzilla silhouette because like I said, that's my son's favorite Godzilla and I think that looks super cool. And finally to finish off the cake, I wanna do some candy melt flames at the top of the cake. So what I have here is some red and yellow melted candy melt and I'm just going to freeform some flames. I start with the red and then I add some of the yellow and I grab a toothpick and I marbleize those together and just keep spreading them with the toothpick to create a nice flame effect. And 
I let these set in the freezer for a few minutes until they're nice and firm. Once the candy melt flames are completely set, I go ahead and I add these through the top center part of the cake. And this amazing Godzilla cake is complete. I love how the background of the cake looks like a sunset effect. The skyline and the Godzilla silhouettes just tie everything together. And of course the flames on top are the icing on the cake. If you guys enjoyed this awesome Godzilla tutorial, give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye! Now really quick, I want to show you guys this awesome Shin Godzilla piñata that I made for my son's birthday. This piñata took me about 8 hours to make. So let me know in the comments section down below if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I made this piñata. I've made a piñata tutorial on my channel before but it's super old and it was like super basic. So let me know if you guys want to see this tutorial. Now I'm going to show you guys a little clip of both of my sons hitting the piñata. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>